Fusion GPS, the liberal research firm that funded and distributed the anti-Trump dossier, has paid three journalists for work related to Congress Russia probe, according to court filings. Lawyers representing the House Intelligence Committee made the assertion in a bid to force Fusion to turn over additional bank transactions involving reporters, law firms and a media company. The committee seeks transactions related to three individual journalists, stated the House General Counsel Court filing, each of whom have reported on and or been quoted in articles regarding topics related to the committee's investigation. The journalists' names are blacked out. Documents list 10 House demanded bank transactions from Fusion, or its comdits, to journalists. Fusion's two law firms, Cunningham Levy Muse and Zuckerman Spader and Cunningham, are asking a U.S. District Court judge to block access. The court battle unfolded this way. Congressional committees are conducting broad probes into Russia's 2016 election interference and whether President Trump and his associates colluded. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, California Republican, signed a subpoena for Fusion's bank records. He wanted to determine who bankrolled a partisan unproven dossier that has become such a large part of the FBI's, Congress and journalists' investigations. The Nunes subpoena forced the law firm Perkins Coward to admit that the Democratic National Committee and the Hillary Clinton campaign paid the bills. The money went from Democrats to Perkins Coward to Fusion to ex-British spy Christopher Steele. He then paid Kremlin sources for dirt on Mr. Trump. None of Mr. Steele's court charges of collusion has been publicly confirmed. Fusion and the House at first worked out a deal for relevant banks' records. But House lawyers say they learned that Fusion withheld 112 transactions pertinent to the Russia probe. The suspect transactions, House lawyers say, deal with two Russia issues. One is the dossier. The other is Fusion's payments from another law firm of Baker Hostetler. That money came from the Russian firm Prevezon Holdings which is lobbying Washington to repeal a law that brought stiff economic sanctions on President Vladimir Putin's regime. In the vein, the House Committee wants copies of Fusion Bank transfers with other law firms in addition to Perkins Coir and Hostetler. Fusion has established a pattern and practice of using law firms as intermediaries to mask the true beneficiaries of its research, the House filing says. In addition, the committee wants transactions related to the Washington Free Beacon, a conservative news site funded by got mega donor Paul Singer. The Beacon first hired Fusion in 2015 to investigate then-candidate Donald Trump, an anathema to many D.C. establishment Republicans. The Free Beacon says the payments stopped in April 2016. Fusion then sought funds from the Democrats. After the Democratic National Committee announced on June 22, 2016 that Russia had hacked its computer network, Fusion hired Mr. Steele to prove there was a Trump-Putin conspiracy. House filings stated, the committee has a clear investigative interest in scrutinizing Beacon's public claims regarding its relationship with Fusion GPS. Fusion's attorneys did not hide their disapproval of what they called Mr. Nunes, fishing expedition, and McCarthy-like tactics. If they had not filed suit, the said, the committee would have happily prowled through all of Fusion's banking records and used them for no purpose other than to inflict harm. We respectfully submit that committee Republicans are using these overbroad demands to punish Fusion for having investigated Mr. Trump. The attorneys asserted that Fusion enjoys a First Amendment right to associate freely with clients and contractors on political and other matters and a First Amendment right to engage in those client activities when they further political and commercial speech. House attorneys argued Fusion has no such rights. It is instead a profit-maximizing hired guns, selling its investigative services to the highest bidder, they said. Fusion's goal to be highly compensated for its work is not protected associational interest. Fusion co-founder Glenn Simpson, a former Wall Street Journal reporter, had Mr. Steele brief a number of liberal press sites in Washington during the election. The House court filings mentioned to who wrote stories on dossier Dirt Yahoo News and Mother Jones, Fusion's specialty is seeding its opposition research into news stories, a modus operandi highlighted by a 2011 interview with co-founder Peter Fritsch, the House attorneys said. Mr. Fritsch is also a former Wall Street Journal reporter. BuzzFeed posted the entire 35-page dossier in January 2017. House Intelligence Committee Democrats have used the document to recite unverified allegations against Mr. Trump and his team.